you know, Facebook is the one that everybody's talking about. But like I said, like there are a lot of tools. You know, like that news feed does not have to be everything, and especially. And I'm hoping a lot of people discovered, uh, especially going into the election. Like there's a lot of like, hey, you know, we can move this out of. We can snooze this. We can hide this. We can see less of this. I don't even. I don't even want to see this ad for this company because it's a company that I don't want to support. Right. Like those tools are in there. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Well, I think I think Twitter gets the award for coming out with that particular option, the earliest of being able to mute certain words or mute certain people. Mm-hmm. And because there's points, I mean, even if you want to avoid show spoilers, you could mute, you know, Mandalorian for a while. So it didn't show up in your Twitter feed, but it might still show up in there, but it might be able to keep that stuff out of your feed which is really, really nice. And I do appreciate that Facebook has finally kind of caught up with that and being able to mute people and, you know, maybe for 30 days and maybe you realize that you're not having this particular business or person on your feed makes your feed enriches your feed. So then you get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Because I've had those moments where I'm like, Oh, wow, this has been nice. And then uh, suddenly somebody pops back in and I'm like, Nope, Nope. Bye, bye, bye. But I think definitely Twitter gets the, um, the, I feel like this would be like a trophy, like, thank you, <laughs> the award for that one and that option. <laughs> Which one's helped my mindfulness tools? Absolutely. Yeah. And even, like I said, ads I've, I've done too. Because uh, somebody said, hey, well, if I unfollow ads, you know, then I won't see as many, like, you know, ads I don't want. Like, if, I mean, here's an ad for Mountain Dew Game Fuel, but I don't have any p- problem with that. But there's like a, why am I seeing this? You can hide the ad and then you won't get to see, see much. Like, there was a, there's a company that was, being advertised to me um, not too long ago that uh, just the other day where I was like, I, I don't want, like, I don't like that company's policies, you know, uh, um, and and I don't want that in my feed at all. You know, I'm not going to go there and participate. I'm not going to be a part of that. Like, it shouldn't be in my feed. So, and and that's, you know, good. Then That's one less thing you get to. If you're, if you're going through social media and, um, your your reaction is kind of like sighing in disgust. Like you should you should really kind of consider what's on your social media. I think is 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 the yeah. one take on it. So um, and yeah. I think I think folks have finally started giving themselves permission to unfriend and unfollow mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. in in their lives. That there was a lot of guilt. I think with like oh I I should be following this person because you know, I went to high school with them or I'm friends with them or I'm family yeah. with them. And yeah. I, you know, I don't want to hurt their feelings. And I think a lot of people let go of that guilt. And, and I think I, on the other side of it too, I think a lot of people were like, you know what? So-and-so doesn't follow me. That's okay. Maybe they don't like what I'm putting out there and that's fine. Yeah. doesn't mean we're not friends or family anymore. Absolutely. And that's, that's why you very particularly separate your personal and your business uh, as far as things, which is the, the biggest tip there for anybody doing that with their pages or things like that. Um, I see, I see people with businesses like posting very personal kind of like about their day and stuff. And it's like, well, that's, you know, this should be this company, not you in this, you know, those kind of separations. Um, a big thing we have a lot of conversations about as professional, with professional wrestlers, of course, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, about your brand and your visual and, and everything like that. Uh, I I forgot the where I was going to go with the next thing of this, but <laughs> so, um, <laughs> there's so much to talk about. I know there's so media. much to get into, uh, but oh oh, uh, and also I've seen um, people. Th- this is this is something that was happening around the summer where I would get messages. Hey, do you know you follow this person? And they did such and such. Um, I think mm-hmm. I think people need to be knowledgeable that you know again a lot of people that have been around for a while have followed everybody and if there is somebody that is on the do not follow list socially that's not necessarily like you know a lot of people will follow people because they have a similar interest and have no idea the rest of them and and if Mm -hmm. something comes out you know not everybody's going through and cleansing their their friend list like i don't even know how many friends i have on facebook right now right and i'm not going to be like okay oh no i still follow that guy that's no good maybe i muted that guy ages ago you know yeah. uh you know it's it, it, it so i i think i think people need to understand you know it's much like an old story where uh, a good friend of mine their uh, grandfather died uh several years ago and we hadn't heard from him for a while and realized we were unfriended and we're like what happened here 
And uh, and they're like, well, you you never said anything when my, when my grandfather died. I'm like, well, we never knew. And it's like, well, I posted on Facebook. I'm like, well, that doesn't mean I see it. You know, mm-hmm. whether it be, you know, again, people do not see everything on the Facebook feed, period. Nobody's going mm-hmm. to, no, I'm going to say nobody, but most people are not going to your profile to see what you've posted, which is the one of the only ways. There are other ways you can do things with the feed. You, you, there's some customization. Look into customizing mm-hmm. your news feed. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and, and, and you can put those people that you really care about. Like if you want to put all of your family on a particular list, yes. you know, on Facebook and you just want to see that feed with all your family and you want to make sure you're keeping up with all of them, you know, or if you have a particular circle of friends that you're like, I don't want to miss their update. Yes. Make sure you do that. And cause I think it's true. Like you miss so much in your feed, like you have thousands of friends and I think, and everybody says this. Oh, I think I see the same five people every time in my Facebook feed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it's the most active. Like I just joined a group and it's like invading my feed, <laughs> you know, from yesterday. And I'm just like, oh, I, get, I need to tone this down. I don't need every other thing being somebody going off in this group about wrestling, you know, uh, so or TikTok or whatever the case may be, you know. So, so that's 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 kind of ways to kind of, um, you know, I, I'm really big again, just that that mindfulness of of how we're using those. And who you have followed, and again, just it, it's okay to mute, block, unfollow, and and in in cases where it's appropriate, report if it's really mm-hmm. offensive. There's a button for that. Click that little, and, mm-hmm. and if people are, and maybe we should go down to if you have a question about that, uh, you should know that those three little dots on every post in the upper right that's your that's your ticket to that stuff. You can go from well, these are, these are my own posts. So that's not going to do the same thing. So. But let's say, uh, oh, okay, here, Dan over a comic book pit. This swordfish is really offensive to me. So I <laughs> the three dots. <laughs> and you got everything. Again, snooze him for 30 days, unfollow him, hide the post, uh, or I can add him the favorite so I see everything. You know, it says it's going to prioritize this post in my news feed. Um, you, can, you can find support or report the post if you have a, you know, think there's an issue with the post, you know, whether it be in, uh, uh, offensive or false or, or whatever the case may be. Uh, if you have, if you if you have some sort of issue with that, so that's enough about Facebook. There's a lot of other stuff out there. 